In this lesson, we'll fill in our sales pipeline by importing leads from a spreadsheet. We'll walk through the three main steps to import your data, preparing your pipeline, preparing your data, and running the import. The importer tool maps each column from a spreadsheet to a column in your pipeline and adds information about people and companies as streak contacts and organizations. Before we get started, make sure your data is in a Google Sheet and that you have the Streak Importer add-on installed. Follow the link below if you need to install the importer. Once you're ready, let's prepare our pipeline for the import. Each row is called a box in Streak because it can hold all different types of information. Our sample box, AcmeCore, shows how our information will be organized once it's imported. We have the name of the lead for this current sales deal, the current stage, who is it assigned to on my team, and our contacts and organizations. By clicking on Alex's contact, I can see all of their information in the sidebar rather than needing to create individual columns for email, phone number, and other contact info. Streak contacts also let us reach out to send an email, make a call, schedule an event, or start a conversation with one click. Similarly, organizations let us track which companies we're working with. Each column that we want to import from our spreadsheet should have a corresponding column where we can add the data to our pipeline. Add new columns by clicking the arrow next to an existing column name and selecting Insert New Column. You can learn more about which column types to choose in our deep dive video on columns. Once we've checked our pipeline for all of the columns we need, let's make sure the data in our spreadsheet is ready for import. Each row represents a lead that's interested in purchasing our coffee. Just like our example of AcmeCore, we'll be importing Hawthorne Cafe and all of these businesses as leads. We'll import our contacts information like name, phone number, and email as a streak contact, just like we saw Alex as a contact in our pipeline. We'll also import information that we have about our organizations. Once we import contacts and organizations, Streak will auto-enrich them with publicly available data, so we'll learn even more about the people and companies in our pipelines. The other columns about our leads, like the deal size or which products they want to buy, are going to match to the columns in our pipeline. The column names don't have to be exactly the same, but we do need to check for a few other things. First, make sure we have a name for our leads. Streak uses the name column to search for and create boxes in our pipeline, so it's required to run the import. We can create contacts in Streak with either a name or an email address, but in this case, more is better. Just make sure first names and last names are in separate columns. If we have more than one contact for a lead, add additional contact information in a separate row with the name of the lead filled out. When we run the import, we'll tell Streak to add new information to existing boxes with the same name, so Streak will see that we already imported a Cafe Brazil box and add our contact Martina to that box. Finally, there are a couple formatting tips to run a successful import. If we have a physical address for a lead, put the full address in one cell. No need to break it out into columns for city, state, etc. Dates should be formatted so we can import them into our pipeline's date columns. And finally, let's consider how we're going to enter the data for these remaining columns in Streak. My lead source and region fields are drop-down columns, so we want to do a quick check for spelling and capitalization to make sure we're tracking this data consistently. These fields are case sensitive. Checkbox columns should either have checked or not checked fully typed out to indicate their status. And finally, make sure the values in tag columns are comma separated if you're adding multiple tags. Again, check out our deep dive video to learn more about all the different types of columns. Now that we've given our spreadsheet a once over, it's time to run the import. From the add ons menu, find the Streak CRM importer and start your import. Once we choose the pipeline that we want, we can start mapping our spreadsheet columns to the pipeline. On the left side of the importer tool, we can see the pipeline column names where we'll be adding the data. 
The importer tool has already matched up any columns with the same name, so we just have to go through and match the remaining columns. Next, we'll import our contact information. This will create a streak contact like we saw in our pipeline earlier. If you have any organization level information like a website or the physical address of a cafe, restaurant, or office building, we'll add that in the next step. We can create organizations with either a domain or a name. We'll add the physical address and website to create streak organizations in this pipeline. Before running the import, let's review a few options. Since we've already set up our pipeline stages exactly how we want them, I don't want to create any new ones from this spreadsheet. However, we do want to import these field options into our drop-down and tag columns since they're currently empty in our pipeline. We'll ignore the header row so we don't create a box called business name. And finally, if a box with the same name is found, we want to update it with the new data. This is how we're going to add multiple contacts to the same box and avoid creating duplicates if we have a full pipeline already, so don't miss this step. If we have any errors in our data, we can fix them now and check again. And it looks like we're good this time. This summary makes sense based on the number of rows in this spreadsheet, so we're ready to start the import. Looks like our import was a success. In the following lessons, we'll show you how to add your emails and begin working with your team in Streak.